Now to Kaduna State, where one child has been killed and two others severely injured after an explosion hit Balarawa community in Kaduna North local government area of the state. The incident took place around 4.30 on Saturday evening. An improvised explosive device concealed in a bottle of drink was given to children by a stranger in the area and they were told to take it to the mosque. Eyewitnesses say the children in excitement took the supposed drink home where it exploded. They were later taken to hospital where one of them died, where others are receiving medical attention. And still in Kaduna, bandits have attacked the National Tuberculosis and Leprosy Training Center, Zaria, kidnapping nursing not seven persons, including nursing mothers. According to sources, the gunmen stormed the area early on Sunday morning, shooting sporadically. They also engaged police personnel from Saya Divisional Police Station in a gun battle to prevent them from to prevent them from foiling their operation at the leprosy center. And during the shootout, the bandits fired several shots at their operational van. Confirming the incident, the Kaduna State Police spokesperson, Mohammed Jalige, said the command has received the report and the matter is already being investigated. Well, our correspondent is live for us from Kaduna, Lupe Assam. And he gives, joins us now for more details on this. Lupe, what more can you tell us about this uh, developing story? Well, uh, the situation today was quite strange. We visited the place. And uh, one thing I can tell you is that the people are quite worried. The people are worried because uh, the situation in Badarawa community, um, these, these children were just playing. They actually came to visit their grandmother and they were just playing outside the house, which is which which shares uh, which shares the fence with with the mosque. And this stranger just came and offered them a drink and asked them to take it into the mosque. But then the children were just excited and took the took the drink back home. And uh, while uh, playing with the car, of course, it contained it, it was concealed and an explosive device which exploded and. And three of the children were badly injured. Uh, the, the grandmother told us that their hands were actually detached from their body. We went to the location. We saw blood spills, spills of blood on the wall. And uh, these children were actually were severely hurt. But they didn't die immediately. There was no, no life was lost immediately. They were taken to the hospital where one of them later died. Two of them are currently receiving medication. That is, that's what happened at Badarawa community. Uh, what, are, what, what else can you tell us about the latest attack with re regards to bandits attacking the tuberculosis and leprosy training center in Zaria, kidnapping at least uh, seven and including nursing mothers as well? Well, of course, uh, Zaria has come under series of attack lately. Uh, recently, the, the polytechnic was attacked. A, a pharmacy was attacked also and the pharmacy was whisked away and a couple of attacks. But then, yesterday night, the, this morning, early hours this morning, by 12.30, the bandits attacked the village in, in large, in the, the, the tuberculosis, the, the leprosy center in large numbers, and they were shooting sporadically to scare away and cause tension in, uh, in residents. But as they were shooting, there's a police station nearby, the Sayi police station. So when they noticed that, okay, the security officers could actually call their attacks, they turned their attention to the security operatives, and they were shooting at them. They severely shot at them. But then uh, they continued shooting, and the van, the police van, was actually destroyed. The police van was actually destroyed. No life was lost. But then seven people were abducted from the leprosy center. But of course, the police command has confirmed the report. They said uh, investigations have begun, and even for the situation where. Uh, there was an explosion. The police have said their, their anti-bomb squad is, has begun investigations into the possible cause of... Uh, the, to, to be able to... They have begun investigations to unravel those behind the action. And they, they gave their word. They said that they will actually work hard to ensure that these people are brought to vote. 